In today's video, I'm going to show you how to free up space by backing up your content and removing content from your device. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And here is my Galaxy Note 8. I've had it for a month now, but I have already used up most of the storage on my device. And I know that because I received a notification today that right here it says you are running out of space delete or back up your files to free up space. So today I'm gonna to show you my recommended solutions to doing that so that you can have all your data backed up and you can quickly remove a bunch of data from your phone so that you still have lots of space for games and pictures and videos and all that stuff. So here, I'm just gonna first click on the notifications. So this notification comes from the phone itself. So right here it's saying that I have 64 gig of internal storage and I've used 63 gig already. So here it's saying that I have 16 gig of files that are bigger than 25 meg that I could free up. Here I have some unused files, duplicate files, and then unnecessary files. So of course, those are only a few meg here. I really wanna focus on the large files. So if I open that up, it's gonna pull up all of those options. So here I have a bunch of movies and it's gonna tell you how much space they are. So I can go through and quickly find the things that are taking up the most space and delete them really easily. But I'm concerned about is this content being backed up and do I have it saved somewhere else in case I delete it from my phone. So for the first thing that I recommend is going to the phone settings and under the clouds and accounts, we have an option here called backup and restore. So depending on the carrier that you have, there is an option to back up to Samsung Cloud. So right under here, under the backup settings, if you have a Samsung account, it will give you the option to backup phone, clock, home screen. It's kind of like doing a smart switch to another device, but it does it all through Samsung Cloud. And Samsung does give you 15 gig of data that you can back up. So you can go through here, make sure some of the basics are backed up. And then once it has kind of gone through, checked everything, you can then click backup now. But you see that this will only do like messages and documents in your home screen layout. So then the other option is to go back here and go right into Samsung Cloud. So if I go into Samsung Cloud, here it's gonna show me how much storage I have that's taken up. Here I have 1.24 gig out of 15, and it is backing up my contacts, calendar, Samsung Notes, S Note, scrapbook, Samsung internet, keyboard. Right now I have gallery turned off because backing that up does take up a lot of data. Now there are payment options available. So if you want to pay extra, I think you can pay like $1 a month and you can back up 50 gig or up to I think 200 gig. And then I can go back and check my backup setting. So there you can go back to see exactly what it is backing up. So that's one way that you can back up the data. And if I turn on the gallery, that's gonna sync everything, so I don't particularly wanna do that. So one of the services that I recommend to use is called Dropbox. Now Dropbox has a free option. I think you get two gig free just for signing up. And then if you want to do more, there are payment plans. So I pay, I think $100 a year to back up one terabyte of data through Dropbox. It's really easy to use. You can sort it by files and it backs up the exact file. And that's what I love about Dropbox. Now in here, you can see that I have a bunch of camera uploads. So whenever I take a photo or a video, it is automatically uploading everything to my Dropbox. So as soon as I connect to my Wi-Fi and it's charged, it's gonna back that up. So then I can go in here, make sure that everything I have on my phone is backed up. It's really easy. You just go under camera uploads and then you can go through here and see if all that content has been backed up on your phone. And then you also have like a few more options here. I can go under the photos tab and see all the photos and videos that are backed up. So that's one thing that I use and I really recommend it. The other option is to use Google Photos. So Google Photos is a really great solution. It syncs with your Google account really easily. And when you first sign up, just make sure you select the Gmail account that you want to back up all your photos to and then click back up and it will automatically back up every photo that you have on your phone. So it will do an unlimited amount of photos for free. So I've used this for a long time and you can see when I pulled this bar down, I can go all the way back to photos I was taking in 2005. So everything is here, my photos, my videos, all in one place and it's great because it's a free solution. Now, if you do want to back up the unlimited full quality, 
you do have to pay for different options. Right now though, I use the free solution. It's really nice because you know if I wanna come up here to the search, I can search for pumpkin and it will then go through my library and find every pumpkin. So here we have a bunch of pumpkins that we took even in the background, you see there's little pumpkins there. So really great solution to do that. So one other thing that I really like about Google Photos is you can go in here to the settings and you can say free up space. So if it has backed up photos or videos to your Google Photos, you can click this option. It's gonna go through your phone, find photos and videos that it can delete and it will delete them. So it automatically frees up space on your phone. So here it's going through that process right now and it makes it really easy and pretty confident that you know that photos on your phone have been backed up already. And then here I can click free up space and it will then delete those photos and videos and it's already backed up so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So another thing that you can do is go into the settings of the phone, go into device maintenance, and then click the storage option. So here it's gonna go through, scan your phone, find out where everything is being used, and then here you can go through and look at them by category. So I could look at the documents that are on my phone, the images, maybe music, videos, or applications. So then once it's done scanning here, it's saying that I can free up storage by deleting unnecessary data such as cache, residual, and advertisement files. So if I just click on there, that's going to clear out the cache. So that's 6.6 .6 gig of data that I immediately get back just because I selected that. So it's gonna go through, clean up some of the files that you don't need anymore. So that's one way to do it, and that's helpful in case Smart Switch is saying you need to free up space. You just go in, clear the cache, and that will work. Now the next option, so there it said it cleaned up 5.8 gigabytes of storage. In here, now we see documents, has 103 meg. I could go through those one by one and delete them if I wanted to. Here I have images. so. There's 6.9 gigs. So let's go through and clean up a few of those. So one of the things I can do is I could select them all, or maybe I just wanna select a few. It's gonna ask me to delete them right now, but I don't wanna delete any of those. So I'm gonna go into my gallery, and here you see all the different categories of photos that I have. Well, I'm gonna go into the camera folder. So there are a few files that are here on my phone that I don't need anymore. So here I'm gonna quickly select them. I can just hold down and drag. And then let's say I take all these photos and then up here in the settings, I'm just gonna click settings and I'm gonna click move. So I'm not gonna copy that, that's gonna duplicate data. But right now I'm gonna click move to album and then I'm gonna say camera and there's a little SD card option there. So that means that it's going to put these files onto the SD card. So in the Galaxy Note 8, the S8 Plus, you have that SD card option. Uh, right now I don't have a very big SD card in here, but you can get all the way up to a 256 gig SD card and put it in here and that will help you free up space. There's also an option in the camera that you can have it so whenever you take a photo, it automatically puts it on the SD card so you don't have to go through and manage the files like this. They'll just automatically be backed up to the SD. You don't have to worry about transferring the files. All right, now that that's done, it says move complete and I can go in and see that those files have been added to the SD card and there they all are. So let's go back. I'm gonna click the recent apps and go back to device management. And then I'm gonna check audio. So I don't have much audio on here, only 45 meg. I'm not gonna look at that. Here I have videos. It says I have 15 gig. And then I can go through and see the top videos right here and check to see if there are any that I want to delete. And right now I'm just not gonna worry about any of those. The next option here is apps. So I have 13 gig of applications. So then this is gonna go through, find all the applications that you have on your phone and then it's gonna show them by size that they take up so that you have a clear option of what you want to delete. So here it's gonna give you all the apps that you have installed, and then you can go through and see, you know, these are all only taking up a few meg, but here this one's taking up two gigs. So if I wanted to free up space, I could instantly delete that. And so when I select one of these, it's gonna give you that uninstall option. The other way to do that is on your home screen, you can just hold down on an app, and then it's gonna give you the uninstall option right there. Maybe it's something you don't use anymore. Or here in the app drawer, you can just hold down on an app and then you will get those options as well if you can uninstall it. So there I have the uninstall option. 
And then the other way to delete applications is to go into the settings of the phone and then going down under the apps. And then once it loads all those, you can click the settings and you can say sort by size. This way you can see the app that is taking up the most data and then you can delete those instead of deleting a bunch of apps that only take up a few megabytes. So once it has loaded up all of the apps and their size, I can go through and see how much they're taking up. So right here, Vainglory is taking up 1.82 gig and I don't need that anymore. So I'm just going to click install. One other thing that you'll find is maybe there's an app that does a lot of cache data. So here you can actually search by app and go in and see how much cache data it's taking up and remove it that way. So let's say this Adobe Acrobat is taking up one gig. I can open it up, click the storage settings, and then here I can see that the app is taking up 30 gig and the data is only taking up eight. So that means it's not really storing that much extra data. I also on some applications have the option to move that app. So right now it's on the internal storage, but I can actually change it to the SD card. And here it's saying that it will only take a few moments and don't take out the SD card while that's happening. So I'm gonna click move and there it's going to put that right on the SD card. And then it's not taking up storage on your phone anymore. So those are my recommended solutions for freeing up space on your Galaxy device. If you guys have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. If there is anything else in this that you want to see more in detail, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. <music>